Hi, this is Mike from the American Chestnut Foundation. Thanks for helping the foundation locate surviving American chestnut trees. I'm going to show you how to pack and send off a sample to determine if the tree you found is a pure American chestnut. First thing you need, of course, is a sample, and it should be from a portion of the tree that's in full sun. Uh, you need a section of twig that's 6 to 12 inches long with the leaves attached. When you take your sample, try to get the latitude and longitude of that tree. Uh, there are apps that will run on a smartphone that will help you determine the latitude and longitude. One of these is TreeSnap. TreeSnap is an optional uh, app. It's recommended that you use it, but you don't, don't need to. It does allow you to load other information about the tree and as well as a photo. So download a form uh, called the Tree Locator form. And be ready to fill that out with all the information on the tree that you found. Then take your sample and make a sandwich with a couple pieces of cardboard and a couple pieces of paper towel. A piece of cardboard, paper towel, and the sample. And then another piece of paper towel and another piece of cardboard. Wrap them together with a piece, couple pieces of tape to hold the sample tightly. It's okay if some of the leaves stick out a little bit or if they overlap. And then you want to take that sandwich and a filled out tree locator form. And you want to put it in a regular paper envelope. There's no need to send it overnight mail or priority mail. And by all means, do not wrap your sample in plastic or don't, don't use an envelope that holds moisture because it could make the sample get moldy. Take the sample and its package now and send it to the regional person that is listed on the tree locator form that's closest to you and send it off and please be patient waiting for your results. Thanks again for helping the foundation find surviving American chestnuts.